Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team, team of developers who work with Laravel and sometimes we create demo projects. And this is one of them. Today we will talk about user notifications. And here's, this is a demo project. Uh, it's kind of, I will read the blog article for you and we will show what we have generated and what we have coded. So based on our quick admin panel, we modified the default registration to add some more stuff. Uh, so, as you can see in registration form, there are two new fields, tags and notification frequency. So usually uh, default Laravel notifications work just user, notify and some class and some data, right? But in more, in more of the project, uh, you would want to avoid the spam on every time, on every time some event happens. And you want to send just the digest every day or every week or every month or something. And you want to send only to users who subscribe to some tags or some uh, skills in this case. So this is a demo project of job board uh, where administrator would add jobs with some tags and users who would register would specify what tags do they want to be notified about new jobs and also do they want to be notified immediately or once per day. And this is the blog article about how it works. This is how it looks. Uh, in database, so if we go down to the code, in database we have two new fields on top of the on top of the default Laravel user registration. So notification frequencies for this one. And then we have skills table with pivot table skill user to be notified of the skills for a certain user. And this is how the form looks for uh, adding the job from admin panel. So uh, admin notifies, admin specifies the, the skills and then by those skills uh, default notification is fired. How it is fired? So default store controller just contains the job create and uh, all the background thing is happening in observer. So eloquent observer uh, called job observer, it just, uh, it has method created with job as a parameter and then it syncs the skills and also finds all the users that need to be notified. There's some eloquent collection thing. Uh, and that code is actually available on GitHub. Uh, the link is below the video. Uh, and also there are some official links here to read more. So I will link that article as well on the video. Uh, this is how we register the observer. So on the model, this is one of the ways. There's other way you can do that in App Service Provider, but you can do that on the model as well. Uh, now, this is what is happening. Actually, notification is sent, and this is the actual notification class. So this one is simple. You just have notification class. What is more complex for some of you who don't know is this part. So how do you uh, specify some parameter to a notification? So notification accepts the job parameter, job as a parameter, and then it becomes a private variable of that class, and then uh, everywhere in that class you can use this job. Uh, to to pass that, we do this. So job becomes as a parameter of notification and then it's used inside of notification. And this is the result. Uh, this is a screenshot from my mail trap. Result email. Other part, other way of uh, sending notifications is the digest, daily digest in our case. And this is a little more complicated. So for that, we would create artisan command, which would be run daily or weekly, whatever you want. Uh, and in handle method of that command, which would be artisan jobs digest, in handle method you would have query all the jobs, then query all the users who want to be notified once, and then for each user you specify all the jobs that are uh, applicable, and if it's not empty you notify that user with user's jobs as array or in fact collection as a parameter. And in that notification you do to mail, and this is a little different because uh, uh, structure is a bit a bit more complex. Uh, I used a markdown markdown uh, template, separate mail jobs. So this is the file mail jobs blade PHP, and this is the markdown syntax. But also job is a parameter. No, actually jobs is a parameter, and then you do for each uh, and include include texts and uh, emails and components and all of that. Uh, again, a few more links to read about how Markdown works, how mail notifications work, how can you uh, customize that. And final thing is to schedule that command every day, in this case daily at 20, and this is done in app console kernel file. And this is the result, so every 8 p.m. Uh, it will be 
email sent with this is one job and this is another job for the same user. And that's it. This is the link to the repository and you will find everything below the video. If you have any questions, uh, yeah, comment below. And if you have any ideas for more videos or demo projects, also use the comments. Subscribe to the channel, try quick admin panel and see you guys in other videos.